light of day. In the heart of the village of Langsi, the second sister awaits, transforming into a colossal spider when the battle begins. This creepy enemy starts the fight by charging at you with its sharp, spindly limbs. To get off on the right foot, you can use the immobilize and pluck of many spells, and if she survives your initial onslaught, keep your distance at mid-range, dodging her arm strikes while responding with quick attacks to gradually chip away at her health. While the boss is indeed swift, her movements are quite predictable and her damage output is relatively low. By timing your immobilize spell and other techniques effectively, you can defeat her with surprising ease. Oh, welcome, good sirs. The feast is all set. Please come in and be our guests. Gentlemen, you're fashionably late. Is your lady not joining us again this time? Uh, our lady uh, prefers not to be seen in the lower realm. Uh, but she's been thinking of you all and sent this small token. She hopes your lady will recover soon and pay her visit up there. <laughs> It's a pity she didn't come. Or she would certainly enjoy a splendid show we've prepared for her. <laughs> but now, the gift's gone and blood's been shed. I say, you two should take the fall. We're just servants, madam. What's the jest? <laughs> I know you find your look embarrassing, but why hide from my mother with another pig face? <laughs> Rude girl. Don't you know I'm a pious Buddhist? Give me your mother's name, and I'll check my list. You heartless ass. After you ruined her house and her reputation, you're telling me you don't remember her. Reputation? Ha! <laughs> Yao Guai's care about reputation. All she cared about was lust. Now I know. You're one of her spiderlings, aren't you? <laughs> well, well. Your rudeness is forgiven. Show some respect. Maybe I'll kindly pay your mother a visit. <laughs> visit or not, I'm afraid that is not your call. <gasps>
parasites. Bugs are bugs. Wearing human skin can't change your gross nature. Yeah, sure. We are so low compared to you, a glorious admiral of the court. And the last monkey still fresh in his grave. And here you are, another monkey sidekick. Cut your bullshit! Get your mother to beg for mercy, and maybe I'll spare your foolish life! <sighs> Truth is, the thing you seek is right here in the hollow. Flee now if you're too scared to come in. Scared my hoof! I'll destroy this rotten hole right now! Let's see where else you'd build your lair! The Elder Armor Worm, a massive worm-like creature, lurks in the depths of Weebing Hollow. This formidable foe kicks off the battle by unleashing a spray of acid from its head. To gain the upper hand, start with spells like Immobilize and Pluck of Many, along with a spirit attack to inflict significant damage. If the boss withstands your initial onslaught, keep your distance and unleash a flurry of quick strikes. Thanks to its sluggish movements, you can easily outmaneuver this enemy, especially since it tends to retreat only when gearing up for an attack. Overall, with its slow pace and limited offensive capabilities, taking down this boss isn't hard at all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on Black Myth Wukong and other exciting games. The Centipede Gwai is an enormous armored centipede that boasts its own boss arena within the webbed hollow. Taking it down can be quite a challenge due to its incredible speed and strength, coupled with powerful attacks and a legion of minions at its disposal. The most daunting move in its arsenal is a thunderous scream that calls forth a swarm of smaller centipedes which detonate upon contact. To survive this onslaught of poison, you'll need to sprint and dodge with precision. This boss is known for its quick movements and relies heavily on jumping attacks. Make sure to unleash your spell combo right after it completes a jump, as that's your prime opportunity to strike. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on Black Myth Wukong and other exciting games. <laughs>
In Webbed Hollow, you'll encounter the Buddha's right hand, which takes the form of a large fly's tail. It initially appears as an enormous hand in a cramped corridor, where the limited space allows for easy hits. As its health declines, it shifts into a beetle form. However, the confined environment still permits you to deal damage effectively. Once its health is significantly reduced, the main body of the Buddha's right hand reveals itself, launching acid vomit attacks and executing a head slam bite. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on Black Myth Wukong and other exciting games. I've laid your path for you, but where will my path be? From now on, we're both on our own. <sighs> Tell me, monkey, what's it like out there, beyond these mountains? You can encounter four formidable Yao Guai kings in Black Myth Wukong, each serving as secret bosses that reward you with rare treasures upon their defeat. The final challenge is Yellow Lung, the most formidable of these hidden adversaries, renowned for his exceptional combat abilities and control over lightning. However, you must first conquer the other three Yao Guai kings, Saiyan Lung, Black Lung, and Red Lung, before you can engage in the ultimate showdown with Yellow Lung. You'll find Yellow Lung at the relief of the Fallen Lung Shrine. He unleashes electric attacks that inflict the shock status on you during the fight. This condition increases the damage you take from all sources until it is removed. Unlike effects like poison or burn, shock doesn't drain your health over time, but it does make every hit from Yellow Lung significantly more punishing. He's armed with a glaive that has remarkable reach, but he is less effective in close combat, so try to stay near him when you can. Although he has a limited array of moves, 
Each one is devastating. With higher health and damage than most bosses in the game, it's essential to stay aggressive and be ready to heal at the right times. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on Black Myth Wukong and other exciting games. <laughs>
Sire's head was hung when he defied the Celestial Court. We dreaded the Jade Emperor's wrath and pleaded with Master Yuan to help us abscond from our waters. But he warned us we might hide for a time, but not forever. In the end, someone will come to claim our lives. He had more to say. Sires to sons, we are destined to die for the righteous cause. I trust him, yet I won't obey. May your path not once more be a mere thread in their grand design. have been clean. If not now, when will you reunite? <sighs> Destiny repeats itself, always. <laughs> Why not cast the die once more? <sighs> Borli Gupo is yet another frog boss, in my opinion, the toughest frog encountered so far. He is lurking in Webbed Hollow, and employs its long tongue as a weapon, launching a poison swamp attack that releases toxic fumes across the surrounding area, or various sections of the arena. Additionally, it has a tongue attack, where it swings its tongue in a rapid motion, delivering two swift whips, so you'll need to observe its swinging patterns and dodge effectively. The final move in its arsenal is the Grab Attack, where it snatches you up and tosses you into the air, aiming to catch you with its tongue before slamming you back down. Watch out as it leaps toward you in an attempt to grab you. Sidestepping to either side is your best bet to evade this strike. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on Black Myth Wukong and other exciting games. <laughs> The first encounter with Zhu Baji happens in the Hut of Immortality, found in the webbed Hollow Zone. This fight is pretty straightforward, and Zhu Baji is unlikely to trouble you much. Simply dodge his attacks and cast your spells to finish him off efficiently. One merry night, and now she wants to take my life. You are following me. 
like a shadow. Can't you do anything without me? Nitwit! Spare me this burden! After your initial victory over Zhubaji, prepare yourself for a rematch. From the Keeper's Shrine, take a left and continue straight until you find a narrow crevice. Squeeze through it and keep moving until you reach an open space. This is where Zhubaji will make his entrance. This fight will be different. Once his health dips below 50%, Jubaji will undergo a transformation into a massive boar. While he may not be the quickest in this form, his attack power significantly increases. He will also shift into a mud catfish, showcasing a variety of moves. When his health reaches around 30%, he will morph into a mud rhino and summon several clones. During this phase, it's best to focus on dodging his attacks and waiting for him to revert. Steer clear of the rhino charges and the catfish slam shockwave, and maintain an aggressive stance whenever possible. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on Black Myth Wukong and other exciting games.
Nestled in webbed hollow, near the gathering cave keeper's shrine, the violet spider is a formidable foe. She can unleash poison in multiple forms, whether through her toxic projectiles, fangs, or claws, so it's advisable to carry plenty of anti-miasma powders. The spider frequently spins webs that can slow you down or trap you temporarily. To counter these effects, you can dodge to avoid the ground webs or rapidly press dodge to escape if you find yourself caught. While she has a range of debilitating projectile attacks, her sweeping moves are few, mainly affecting areas behind her or to the sides. Therefore, staying behind her during the battle can prove to be a smart strategy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on Black Myth Wukong and other exciting games. Or would have lived if he didn't weigh my master's flesh over your lives. Yes, he was blinded by greed. But he has repented and made his compensation. He even offered that thing to sustain my life. Otherwise, I'd never live to see you today. My dear, is that true? That thing is in your hands. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> even now in your heart, the monkey still comes first. The monkey? Nah, for me, beauty always comes first. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Carry on with these nice words. Once I'm satisfied, I might lift my finger and tell you where to find it. You wicked hag! Can't you see your old face? Still obsessed with all this lovey-dovey crap at this age? Ridiculous! <laughs> Every day trapped in this hollow, I missed and dreamed waiting for the day to beat you right after we mate, so I can heal. Then eat! Could have saved me from your stupid ceremony and vows! What a farce! <laughs> My appetite is lost. Not just for you, but also for her. <gasps> Hideous spider, who fathered such a thing? Your fate today has nothing to do with me. I had my mercy misplaced, that's all. <sighs> what took you so long? I almost died. Now oh, go quick, this sisters. hag, and get me down. <clears throat> Monkeys, the bane of my life. <clears throat> Why do you always have to ruin my plans? In what way am I any less than monkeys? This monkey that you love. I'll chop his heart, slice his liver, and make you eat them!
Sylvia! Go after her! She has the relic! Go! I can take care of myself! You can find Commander Beetle in Chapter 4 at the Temple of the Yellow Flowers. He comes with a group of followers who will attack you, so a smart tactic is to employ Pluck of Many to deal with them while you focus your efforts on the boss. While he's not a major threat, be cautious of his delayed attacks and make sure to dodge his projectiles. He also has a defensive tactic where he jumps back, says something, and raises one of his weapons, which allows him to block all your attacks and then counter. To break this defense, you can use Wind Tamer or Withering White to knock him back and interrupt his move. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on Black Myth Wukong and other exciting games.
You'll find the fungi woman lurking near the Temple of the Yellow Flowers in Chapter 4 and prepare yourself for a tough fight. Her unique skills make her a challenging opponent. Armed with a poisonous staff, she can deliver powerful blows and spin rapidly, creating a dangerous vortex that can hurl you across the battlefield if you're caught in it. Fortunately, she becomes dizzy after this attack, giving you a prime opportunity to strike back. However, she also has a spore attack that spreads across the arena, targeting you and healing her in the process. To come out on top, you need to adopt an aggressive strategy to keep her from regaining too much health. Otherwise, the encounter could drag on far longer than you'd like. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on Black Myth Wukong and other exciting games. Venom Daoist is one of the hidden bosses in Black Myth Wukong. Locating him twice and defeating him both times will force him to reveal the entrance of the secret Purple Cloud Mountain area in Chapter 4. The first Venom Daoist location is in the Webbed Hollow at the Pool of Shattered Jade Keeper's Shrine. You'll find him in a big cocoon. Once you've reduced his health, he will retreat, hinting at a future battle. What? <laughs> 
Lost Monkey! We'll settle our scores when I reach my full mastery! <laughs> The second Venom Taoist location is a boss arena that can be found in the Temple of Yellow Flowers after reaching the Court of Illumination Keeper's Shrine. In this second encounter, you'll face him twice consecutively, each time with a full health bar. Despite the increase in health, his behavior remains consistent with your first fight. In each phase, he will lose two of his arms. Just focus on using Immobilize with quick attack combos and dodge his sword attacks to win the fight. Once the boss is defeated for good, he reveals a mural on the wall and tells you to go visit the Purple Cloud Mountain area. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on Black Myth Wukong and other exciting games. Ah! <laughs> 
my blade! The flood of blood! In my view, the Scorpion Lord is the most challenging boss in Chapter 4. Even at higher levels, he can take you down with just two hits. This encounter is especially tough due to his high damage and poison-infused attacks. To prevail, you need to adopt an aggressive stance while being precise with your dodging. Many of his strikes also apply poison, which can turn a drawn-out fight into a battle of attrition that's hard to win. As the battle unfolds, the Scorpion Lord will increase his aggression, and you must do the same. Timing your spells like Immobilize and Pluck of Many, along with the Wandering White Spirit attack, is key to inflicting serious damage. When your spells are depleted, perfect dodging becomes essential. If you get hit, back off immediately to heal, as a second hit could be fatal. Don't forget to cure any poison right away. Although the Scorpion Lord has a limited attack repertoire, each attack can be fatal, so understanding his patterns is the key to victory. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on Black Myth Wukong and other exciting games. What? <laughs>
Taoist Mi is a secret boss who can be found in the Purple Cloud Mountain secret area in Chapter 4. In order to fight this boss, first you must obtain the Violet Hail key item. If you want to see how to complete the Taoist Mai quest and how to get the Violet Hail, check out my link in the description below. Taoist Mi has the ability to inflict poison, which will slowly drain your health points, so be sure to carry antidotes to counteract the effects. He is relatively weak and sluggish, making him an easy target. Utilizing skills like Pluck of Many, Immobilize, Wind Tamer, and Withering White can rapidly reduce his health. This strategy works for both of his phases, but you'll need to exercise extra caution during the second phase. Also, keep in mind that if you skip him and start the battle with the Dusk Veil, he will disappear and you won't be able to get his drops and rewards. Strong foe, just what I need. You shall be my initial feast to power my metamorphosis ascension. <laughs> These impudent mortals have overreached themselves. Their demise was of their own creation. <sighs> but you, you are special. What poison them only strengthens you. Keep it close and wield it wisely. You'll see its potential. Go, release him. Being trapped there is a torment worse than death. I've watched him grow up. I cannot bring myself to do it. The Dusk Veil is a hidden boss you can encounter in the secret area of Purple Cloud Mountain during Chapter 4. You'll find this formidable foe at Cloud Nest Peak. It's highly advisable to take down the Scorpion Lord and Taoist Mi before engaging the Dusk Veil, as starting this battle will cause them to vanish from the area. 
preventing you from claiming their rewards. The Duskvale's attacks are notably slow, which makes them easier to read and dodge. A smart tactic is to strike a few times and then evade its attacks as they come. Spells can also be effective for dealing extra damage. In its second phase, the Duskvale has a special aerial move where it levitates and sends a barrage of spikes your way. When you see it lift off the ground, be sure to run around to avoid the spikes until the attack is over. Another attack to watch for in this phase involves the Duskveil jumping up, slamming a giant sword into the ground, and then stomping on it, creating a wide area of damage. As soon as you see the sword land, back away quickly and wait for the attack to conclude. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on Black Myth Wukong and other exciting games.
all these years apart. And they've marred you like this. I journeyed from Mount Lee to delve into the mysteries of this valley. I didn't mean to hold this back from you. It was because I had to. I stayed my hand for my ties to his mother. That's why I called upon you. But how did you get this? I thought it was with the Hundred-Eyed Guai. This may well be the design of destiny itself. I shall help you and restore its power. Consider this as my token of gratitude. When the fight kicks off, the sisters will target the hundred-eyed Taoist master, seeking revenge for their mother, the Violet Spider. This gives you a perfect opportunity to unleash your spells and attacks while the boss is occupied with them. One of the most challenging aspects of facing the hundred-eyed Taoist master is landing hits. You can only inflict damage by targeting its legs or centipede-like body, but it's always on the move, making it a tough target. The most effective approach is to use spells and heavy attacks to stun it. When your spells are recharging, landing heavy attacks can disorient the boss and still provide a good amount of damage. During the second phase, be sure to step back when you notice it preparing to charge. Execute well-timed dodges to evade the lightning strikes and floating rocks. If you've previously defeated the secret Duskvale boss and obtained the Weaver's Needle, now is the time to use it in the final phase when the boss starts charging allowing you to stun it and interrupt its lightning phase. I do. Very well. Despite all your failures, you led the destined one here. I should reward you for that. But the thing I gave you, now I must have it back. Rest assured, darling, I'll avenge you. 
Now let go of your misery and rest in peace. Needle. I was 
changed a bit. You 